my papa has not forgotten about me, has he? Mm, Dame Catelyn to meow, I presume. Oh, you've arrived. The fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petit assistant, Sparrowson. Oh, my lady is knowledgeable. Don't. Just don't talk like that, Sparrowson. Oh, I'm very sorry. Uh, my papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. Well, I'm flattered. But they weren't available on such short notice, so he hired the first people in the address directory. Oh. You see, Falcon, I told you listing under aviary attorney would pay off. Well, let's get down to business. Dame Catalyn, could you fill us in on some details? Your father's letter was a little brief. I can do my best. What is it you want to know? What happened on the night of the murder? Who was there that evening? Or do you see anything suspicious? Um... What happened on the night of the murder? What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Oh, let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Crenier, the home of the great Baron Rouge. My papa spent all evening talking with Monsieur Granouy and the Baron about, you know, business stuff. Business stuff? Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So all through dinner they were talking about company shares and investments, but I didn't really understand most of it. But after dinner, this man with a camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. I'm sorry, a man with a what took your what? A photograph? A camera. It is a very new gadget. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints a picture very fast. In ten minutes, poof! You have a perfect picture. Wow, technology is quite amazing. I don't think the lady's explanation is quite right, Sparrowson. Oh, let me believe. Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I will make note of it. Camera's been added to your evidence folder. Please continue, Dame Catalyn. So, after we had the photograph, I went into the gardens to get some air, and that is when I found the body of Monsieur Granouy. He was all ripped open. A housemaid saw me standing over the froggy Monsieur and called for help, and then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. It must have been terrifying. Oh, it wasn't so bad. My papa taught me how to be a brave kitty. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? Who was there? Dame Catalina, who attended the banquet that evening. Well, there was me, and my papa, my dearest maman could not make it. And there was Baron Rouguet, who hosted the dinner, and his housemaid, uh, Colleen, I think she was called. Of course, there was Monsieur Granouy. Well, until, you know, he died. And there was Monsieur Robito de Robinho, the man with the camera, but he was only there for a little while. Hmm. Mm, I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Any, uh, suspicious stuff going on? Dame Catalyn, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Suspicious? Like, maybe... A guy looking in the shadows, or a bloodied murder weapon. Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you are looking for an easy answer. Mm, you got me. I did not see anything, I'm afraid. The evening was very normal, the food was delicious, the conversation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait, Falcon, you missed something of huge importance! Uh, I did, I did. Dame Catalyn, you said the food was delicious, but you didn't say what food it was! Oh, you and your damn stomach. Oh, let me see. We had poached red herring to start, garnished with garlic butter. Mm, go on. Mm, then a marbled steak, served perfectly bloody rare. Glorious! Falcon! Falcon, write this down! What? This can't possibly be relevant to the case. Write it all down, please, for me. 
Oh, fine, fine. Red herring has been added to your evidence folder. Bloody rare steak has been added to your evidence folder. Sparrows and remind me not to let you talk to clients on an empty stomach. Oh, come to think of it, I did find it a little strange we weren't given any cutlery. No cutlery, even for steak. Nope. You would think that the great baron of Chateau Crenier would have glorious silverware, but there was none to be seen. That is a little peculiar. Was there anything else you wanted to know, Monsieur Falcon? No, I think that will be all. So, what's the plan now, Falcon? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crenier and try to see this... <laughs> and try to see the scene of the murder for ourselves. And we should try to track down the supposed photographer, Monsieur Rubito de Rubinio. Two days for two tasks? Well, that seems doable. But we should head back and get some rest. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Wait, Monsieur Falcon, before you go. You... You do believe me, don't you? I believe in justice. Dame Catalina, I believe that a fair trial can draw the truth from any situation. I believe in justice. That is good to hear. You're not wrong, Falcon, but that's not what the lady needed to hear. You might want to work on being less of a, how to put it, fille de pute. If serving justice makes me a fils de pute, then I'll wear that title proudly. Falcon and Sparrowson stand inside the marble portico, port portico? portico of the Palais de Justice, awaiting the opening of the Tribunal de Grande Instance. Are you nervous, Falcon? <laughs> nope. Got justice on my side. No, we've got this case in the bag. Look at my feathers. See? Totally unruffled. Wow, well at least one of us is feeling confident. Monsieur Falcon, Petit Sparrowson, is there anything you need me to do? No, no, we've got a handle on things. Falcon was just telling me how confident he was feeling about the case. Oh, that is wonderful. I know you two will pull through. All right, let's move it along, fellas. Ah, I will be watching from the inside. Do your best for me, Monsieur Falcon. We will. Oh, God. Are we ready? Yes. We're ready. We've reached a decision, pretty unanimously. Uh, in light of the recent revelations, it's clear that an error of judgment was made with the initial arrest. On that note, we unanimously find the defendant, Dame Caterline de Miao, to be not guilty. So, cool. Everybody go home. Have a great day. Eat a burger. Oh, Monsieur Falcon, Petit Sparrowson, you did it. Yes, I suppose we did, didn't we? We should head back to the office so we can celebrate properly. You did it, Falcon. Oh, I can't take all the credit. This was a group achievement. I am so proud of you both. I'll get one bottle of wine and three of our least dirty glasses. That's like me when people come over. You were amazing, Monsieur Falcon. Oh, it was nothing. I very much liked the way you pinned the murder on the Baron. That was an act of sheer genius. <gasps> what if she actually did it? Well, I didn't pin anything. Sparrowson and I just worked at unveiling the truth, given the facts of the case. Monsieur Falcon, there is no need to play coy. The case is over. Oh my god. Play coy? Don't tell me you're actually being sincere. I am... I am completely lost. Oh, wow, I thought the goody-goody thing was an act, but you actually don't know. All right, I will spell it out for you. Oh my god. She totally murdered him. She totally murdered... I murdered Monsieur Granui! Fuck! Oh my god. I saw him in the garden. All drunk and vulnerable, and I seized my opportunity. It was nothing personal, just business, you understand. Business? To increase my papa's share in the train company, of course. My papa always says that the drunk old fox was the weakest link. Your confession doesn't make any sense at all. 
I found Bear and Rogue Whale's cigar butt hidden in the garden. Oh, I put that there. I expected the police to find it, but I suppose that was putting too much face in the brains of Paris' finest. But Falcon proof that Monsieur Rubinio's photograph was edited. It was edited. I wasn't in the picture because I was busy paying a visit to Monsieur Granby in the garden. <gasps> he was scared of her claws? Or the claws of her dad? Oh, fuck. My papa knew I needed an alibi, so he ordered Monsieur Rubinio to paint me over Baron Roguel and to add hands to the clock. But that lazy artist didn't manage to finish altering the photograph by trial day. It's a good thing that Monsieur Falcon was so imaginative. Because that could have gone very badly. What is with the silence? You should both be proud. There aren't many lawyers in the whole of France who could have won a case like this, even for a bourgeois kitty like me. I think you should leave. <laughs> Fine. So much for the celebration. Here is the payment for your services, straight from my papa's pocket. Well, adieu, Monsieur Falcon. Adieu, Petite Sparrowson. Oh, Falcon, what do we do now? Falcon? <laughs> I love your Caterline voice. Can I take it for a romantic vacation to Paris and marry it? <laughs> you like uh, this terrible French accent? <laughs> this little murderous kitty? She will destroy you. She will kill you when you least expect it. 